is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. All right, this is how to fix a Samsung TV. Model number is LN46B, as in baseball, 500P3F. Okay, and don't forget to take out that screw right there, and the screws all along the border, and the stand, take that off, and the thing should wiggle right off. All right, you can leave it on the stand, by the way, that's fine. Then just the TV will wobble a little bit, but don't worry, it's not going to go anywhere. This is the video board right there. It's connected to the power supply. The power supply converts the AC alternating current to DC current. It powers up the rest of the TV. Um, it just it, it sits like that. All right, so we unscrew. Make sure you take out all the screws around the border right here and here. And there's another screw right here. You got to take that off. The capacitors that are bad on this one are the 1,000 microfarad capacitors, one, two, three, four. All right, and um, there's a 1,000 microfarads, 10 volt, those two, and a 1,000 microfarads, 25 volt, I believe, are right there. And uh, I tested them on my meter and they're bad. I got a, if you don't know how to read a capacitor, just uh, have it on my Tampa Tech channel. All right, so just, uh, you can buy the cap kit also for this model number on the TV. When you take off this, make sure you pinch it and unlocks it, and then you pull. So pinch and then pull. Same thing goes for this one. You want to pinch that so the lever releases, and then pull it out. Don't force anything. Double check your work. And make sure all your connections, you know what I mean, are there. The, and you can mark it with a permanent black marker or take a digital picture and make sure you have all the things connected to the right spots. This bomb, this one, the bottom one, goes over here to the left, by the way. And then this one right here goes to the right. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So you just want to flip over the board right here. And I'll show you how to unsolder it. I got this one left. So we'll flip it over. And I'll show you right here. I got a, sol a solder sucker or a solder plunger. Basically with that, you just push down, creates a vacuum, and then you hit the button, it sucks it up. And I'll show you how to use that. I got all this at Ready Shack and my uh, solder gun right here. It's a weller. Anyway, so what you wanna do is Heat, it, heat, heat up the solder joint, and then go ahead and uh, put the plunger there. And that's a good one. And then heat it up again. You want to heat up the, the solder joint. And that's another good one. So just heat it, and then suck it out. And it should fall straight out. If you're not, you have to wiggle it and that should come straight out. Alright, so now that you've done that, you got all the capacitors out. Next thing you want to do is let me uh, go ahead and adjust my tripod so I can make you sick. I want to make sure you see all this. Alright, so next thing you want to do is. Alright, there we go. So the closest capacitors I got. All right, Radio Shack for a thousand microfarads, thirty-five volt, and it has to be if you, if these are thousand microfarads, I got these were ten volt, and these were twenty-five volt. So the closest I could find was the closest I could find was a thirty-five volt. So you, sh you should get the same value, but if you go up in voltage, you should be fine. But the thousand microfarads is important, and the temperature. There's a temperature thing on here. And uh, that's kind of important too. But these should work just fine. Oh, the white part is the negative. See how the, there's a stripe? That's the negative side. The short lead is the negative. So make sure you put it in right. Like that. Like that.
Just flip it over. Do that. Like that. And like that. And then we're going to go ahead and solder it in. Heat up the pin right at the um, right where it meets the board. So you heat up the, the pin and the board, and then you dab the solder. Don't solder. Don't use the, you know, don't solder first and then do that. You want to heat it up so it bonds to the board and the leg. And then once that's heated up, and then you dab the solder right there at that joint. Soldering is a little bit of a skill. But it's pretty, you pick it up fast. It's easy to learn. Alright. Heat it up. Depend in the, the joint right where there. And then dab it right at there. And then there you go. And then you want to clip the legs. So we're going to go ahead and clip the legs. Make sure the legs are way far away from the board. If by accident you clip the leg and it's sitting on the back of the board, you'll short it out. So now that you do that, just flip it over and make sure everything looks pretty good. All right, that, just like that. And again, these are all 1,000 microfarads. I tested them on my cat meter. And if you don't know how to do that, check out my Tampa Tech channel, how to read or test a capacitor. I have a video showing you how to do that. All right. So even though they weren't bulged, the bad ones aren't bulged, they were still reading bad. They were reading like, uh, I think 30% less than its value. So I replaced them. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together. All right. So we're putting it back together. Oh, it goes like this. Bing, bada, boom. Just like so. Now you put the, all the screws in using a screwdriver, hand screwdriver. You don't want to. You don't want to use a powerful drill. You'll damage the board. All right, and there's one, another one right there. Don't forget. All right. So next thing you want to do is just plug everything in. And again, you, again, you want to pinch these. That's how you do that. Make sure it's completely flush in. If, if that's not flush in, it's not going to work right. And you hear that click sometimes. All right. Just like that. Let's go ahead and turn it on. All right. So I didn't put the, well, we're going to test it. I didn't put the back cover on, but I just plugged it in right there. And uh, boom. Turns on. looks good so that's how you do it now I'm gonna put the back cover on so thanks for watching post a comment subscribe to Tampa Tech and check out my other uh, TV repair videos and so forth